everybody. Welcome to this episode of Rush Roots. Today we have Jim. So Jim, why don't you tell us uh, who you are and where you're from? Hi, my name is Jim Keys. I'm 47 years old and I am from Sacramento, California. All right. Awesome. Another, uh, another older fan. Gotta like yeah. it. Whose name is also like Jim. That. There you go. Whose name is Jim. That's, that's <laughs> good. That's always good too. All good right, common well, name there. Yeah. <laughs> All right, so why don't you tell us how you heard about Rush, what got you into the band, and what kept you around? You know, your Rush roots. Yeah. Right. Well, you know, my parents bought me a radio, my first radio, probably cassette recorder, probably when I was about six years old. And I started listening to the radio, and I started hearing rock and roll music, and I liked it. And I had a friend of mine who lived just two houses down. His name was Mark, who happened to have an older brother. And his older brother was super into Rush. And I remember I came over to his house. I mean, we were both six years old, just kind of diddly dallying. And he just said, hey, you got to listen to this record. It's super cool. And I was like, OK, you know, and he played it. And we just I just fell in love instantly with the music. It just was like unreal. Um, and that album was Permanent Waves. So right. you can imagine, you know, we play the first song, The Spirit of Radio, and you, I hear that guitar intro, and it's just like, I had never heard anything like that in my entire life. You know, my, keep in mind, I'm six years old, so I didn't hear a whole lot of music before that, <laughs> you know, besides, like, children's songs. But, um, yeah, I just, um, we would play it from uh, front to back every, every day, almost. And I think I, we drove his brother nuts, because his brother would come in and say, you know, stop taking my record from me. <laughs> always, wanted to, always wanted to play it because it was just like it was just super awesome here and then you know when you're younger you don't realize that like there's only three members of the band mm -hmm. you know you think oh there's a bunch of guitars and you know drum, but no there's just three people like as i got older i was just like i can't believe that amount of music can be played by three musicians it was just incredible imagine being six years yeah, old and sure. hearing uh, like natural science for the first time Oh my gosh. It yeah. was <laughs> mind blowing. And, and, yeah. and, you know, just to put that in a little bit of perspective, as I got older, you know, we, we, we used to listen to the songs and then we had good beats and everything with that. But then we were really starting to uh, pick apart each song, like just like at the very end of Natural Science when Neil does that, ding, 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 you know, on his drums. And it was just like, we were just like, oh my gosh, this is so cool. <laughs> like, yeah. we were just like in love. Like, with every little thing, you know, Getty and his bass, you know, licks, riffs and everything. It was just uh, really, really awesome. Oh, yeah. Yeah. So, sure. so was Rush the, like, the yeah, first, I guess, rock and roll band you heard, like, period? Well, or were there some yeah, other ones I mean, mixed in? To go a little further back, when I had my radio, I had the radio on, and, you know, whatever classic rock station was big at the time. Okay. They were playing uh, Steppenwolf, uh, Born to be Wild. You know, and I was kind of like, oh, that's this is really cool. Like, you know, I kind of like this kind of music, you know, because my parents were from a little bit of an older generation. So my mom would listen to, you know, Barbara Streisand or Frank Sinatra kind of stuff, which I enjoyed, <laughs> but it was nothing like to what I heard. Right. So I was just like, I like the whole guitar and I love it. This is rock and roll. This is cool. And then, you know, when I went over to my friend's house, he said, rock and roll. He's like, well, you got to listen to this record. <laughs> so. Uh, I just fell in love ever since. It was just really incredible. Like, I just couldn't believe what I was hearing. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. Well, why don't you tell us uh, when, where, and what tour your first Rush show was? It was uh, spring of 1990. It was the Rush Presto Tour. It was here in Sacramento, California. And I was 15 years old. And uh, I was, like, in awe because not only was it was my first time ever seeing Rush, it was my first concert ever. Okay. So like, I was just super excited, you know, hey, this is my favorite band of all time. Uh, that same buddy I was telling you about earlier, I, I went with him and another buddy of mine, and we just rocked out the entire time. It was awesome. And I think Primus had opened for him <laughs> you know, yeah, on that they, tour. So it was kind of cool. Like, so we saw Primus and then, you know, then they came out and it was just a great show. And uh, I saw him probably ever tour since, uh, up, up until the R40 tour. Sure. So, Sweet. Yeah, that's great. Your first show and you got the, the Presto Bunnies like on, on each side of the stage, right? It, <laughs> yeah, I, I, I yeah. This, yeah. You know, and then, you know, the washing machines in the background. Yeah. The popcorn machines as they it evolved in different <laughs> tours, you know, it was uh, yeah. it was something. 
you know, it was, we used to always laugh. It's like, you know, do I pay attention to Getty while he's singing or do I like, <laughs> do I see what's going on in the laundromat in the background? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. What shirts but, are going to um, pull out and throw? <laughs> I, you know, it, it, it was just really nice throughout the years. Like, you know, I've, you know, I got my wife really into Rush because before I met her, I mean, she knew of a few songs here and there, nice. but she didn't really know Rush very well. So I, you know, I said, Hey, you gotta keep listening to this music. And, you know, it was really cool. And she got more into them. So I took her on a few of their tours. And then my father-in-law, who's a drummer himself, he, uh, he nice. is really into Rush. So we took him to a couple of concerts too. So it's kind of nice. I you know the very last tour, I brought my wife and my father-in-law with me and another friend. So it was just kind of nice to close it all out. You know, my, my that's sweet. And my father yeah. and everything. Yeah, yeah it, was, sure. it was really cool. That's, that's really, really sweet. awesome. <laughs> that's so great. Yeah. All right. So, well, I guess what was your first favorite song and favorite album? And how does it differ from your favorite song and favorite album today? If it does differ, even. Yeah, I guess. Well, you know, I, I got to say, you know, my first favorite song ever was Spirit of Radio. I mean, the, you know, the first time I heard Alex's yeah. intro was just, you know, I'm like, that, that's, that's a guitar. I'm like, that's, that's incredible. Yeah. Uh, I mean, you know, and then, you know, of course, every time they do the song live, I would just go wild because it was just like, you know, brought back all those memories from all those years ago when I'd be at my friend's house listening to that record. Um, and, you know, as I gradually progressed as a Rush fan, I feel like their later albums I was into, but I was still mostly concentrated on their older stuff um so i actually feel like as i progress uh i probably one of my favorite albums now is uh, 2112 the whole okay. um temples of syrix is just like this yeah. is an amazing musical um i can't think of the term of it but you know it's just it's just they're, they're musically we're so in, in in tune and and that's when you know you really like even though 2112 came out before Permanent Ways, you could still hear that that is how Neil especially really progressed in his percussion. Like that, you know, he's like, doo, 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 you know, and you hear that and it was just like unreal. Yeah. And I was just like, you know, when you when you pinpoint and, you know, try to dissect every song and you're just like, wow. Like just the amount of music that they were even playing back then when it was only their uh, fourth album. Yeah. Um, it was incredible. And, uh, you know, I, I like all their music and I'm, probably going off base here a little bit, but, you know, I, I laughed yeah. when uh, they released Caress of Steel and they were still touring with the, with Kiss at the time. Yeah. <laughs> and Getty and Alex had, you know, shown, um, you know, sh had showed Kiss, like, what they were writing for Caress of Steel. And I think Gene, Gene Simmons was like, well, what the, what the heck is this stuff? You know? <laughs> yeah. But, I mean, I think Gene, Gene was like, he was like, you know, they did good. They did good, though. <laughs> He's like, he didn't think they were going to progress much further, but, you know, he was wrong. And, I'm glad he was wrong because, you know, yeah. they just, uh, they, he didn't you know, get it. You know, he didn't, yeah, he, didn't he just get it. didn't understand it. Yeah. And a lot but, of people still don't get it. Uh, right. Just musicians, but, but rock and roll people, you know, they just don't get it. If you know, you yeah. know. Well, it's just a different sound. And, you know, yeah. like growing, growing up with some fans, you know, like they're like, you know, oh, you know, Getty sounds kind of like a girl when he sings. Like, well, yeah, but I'm like, that's just his, his style. And, and, you know, I, it, there's no other style like it, you know, like no one else could sing like Getty right. with Rush, you know, so right. um, it was just really, I don't know, I just, I love that band um, there, you know, I, even if I'd have hard days at school, I would come home and just, you know, put Rush on the radio and yeah. just listen to it for a while just to escape for a while. So they're just yeah. like, they've been really, you know, incredible, uplifting in my life. Yeah, <laughs> you know? totally. Hopefully they might see this one day, you know, Alex and Getty might see it and be like, hey man, you guys have big, a big influence on my life. <laughs> I tell you. Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so. All right. Well, uh, where can people find you on social media? Well, specifically Instagram, I guess. Uh, <laughs> if, if people might want to, uh, you know, reach out to you and maybe talk some more Rush or even become oh, Rush yeah. friends. Yeah, um, yeah, sure. My Instagram uh, name is Slim Jim, S L I M J I M, and then 916 after that. Okay. Awesome. Anything, cool. any uh, last, you know, last things you want to add about, about Rush or about, you, you know, your Rush fandom? Uh, I just wanted to say, just, you know, um, I'm sad Neil's gone now, but I know, like, I know the legends still live on. I know Getty and Alex still live on. And, um, 
you know, like it, it's always going to be a part of my life. Like every time I hear like Neil's like drum solos in between songs or just his drum solos from the live albums, I just think of Neil and uh, you know, he was a legend all in itself. Um, and I just think Rush just inspired not only like people like you and I, but he, they inspired so many musicians, you know, I'll never forget when they, you know, got inducted in the rock and roll hall of fame and, you know, they got, you know, Alex called up on the stage and, you know, Neil had said like, you know, back in the day, we didn't think this was cool, but it's pretty cool. You know? <laughs> and, and, you know, it's just like, you know, he, you know, it, they're, they're just so humble and they, they don't, they just look at themselves as regular people who just love to perform and love to play music. And then it's just like, they don't realize yeah. that they've been such an inspiration to so many. Right, and yeah. even people who are just picking up guitar or bass or drums, just learning how to play. They're just like, wow, this band is incredible. I mean, and I'll see some YouTube videos of, of kids trying to learn how to play like YYZ or something, you know, and I'm like, rock on. I mean, this is the, this is a great kind of, you know, it's good that they're inspiring people old and young. So. Oh yeah. <laughs> yeah, for sure. Good. Yep. Yeah. Cool. cool. Awesome. All right, Jim. Well, Hey, thanks for uh, hopping on and joining us today. Uh, you know, anyone else that wants to come on one of these and, and talk about their rush roots, please do uh, send us a direct message on Instagram. But uh, that being said, uh, yeah, Jim, thanks very much. Take care, everybody. Thank you. Thank you for having me.